today I'm going to be talking about soft pellet fishing in winter, all of our F1s and some skimmers. This is just my take on it. Hopefully you might take some things away from it. So in terms of micro pellets, I just use the dynamite carp pellets, but I'm not going to go too in depth about that because I think everyone's done micro pellets over and over. There's plenty of videos on that, so I'm not going to go into that. But you just want them nice and soft basically and so they swell up. But I think expanders is where it's more important. What That's what you put on your hook, that's what the fish are eating. And something that I found gave me a little edge last year, last winter, when I was fishing partridge and places like that, where some on the on the on the individual winter league there, there's on the back lakes, there's like some little skimmers and sometimes the F1s prefer to eat pellets on there. So I fished a bit of that and figured a few things out. So hopefully you might be able to take away. But one of the things I did do was a lot of the time was fish some two mil expanders. So Dynamite don't do any, so I just get the ones from Bait Tech. I've I've tried these and I think they're brilliant to be honest. So I'd recommend them if if you're looking for someone you're not sure this is the batches might change but this batch that i've got is perfect uh, i think the reason why i like to use two mil expanders is because they're obviously dead tiny and they blend in really well with your micro pellets that you're feeding and on a lot of the venues in winter when it's really really cold the f1s they don't you, you're not fishing specifically for f1s sometimes if there's skimmers you can fish for skimmers and then you can catch f1s in between so places like willow lake at partridge just loads of tiny skimmers and if they feed like one day I had when I won my section last year, I caught 40 pound, but you only caught like eight F1s, but they're massive, but I caught probably 20 pound of skimmers in between. So you can just keep putting fish in the net. And if the F1s turn up, you're fishing for them as well. But the, the beauty of these expanders is they're so small. You can put like a, a, obviously a two mil expander on a size 20 hook and um, and then they'll they'll swell up and they'll cover the hook fully. And obviously the skimmers love them and the F1s like them too. I do take four mils. I just use these ones, these pro expanders from Down Out Baits, they're brilliant. I'd, I'd swear by them, to be honest with you, use them winter and summer. But I, in winter, to be honest with you, I do probably go more towards a two mil expander these days. If I think I'm fishing for more just F1s, I will try and use a, two, um, a four mil. But yeah, that's the bait. In terms of prepping it, this is all I do. These are some I did last night, just to show you. In a little bag, um, tie a knot in it, and I did a little plastic bag, simple. And to be honest, I don't even do them separate anymore. I just chuck them in the same bag two mils and four mils just put them in and when you get to your peg all i do is get me scissors just chop them like that chop it open i'll pick up my litter don't worry pick it up now there we go and then all i'll do get my little bait to which i've got some water in and i'll just open them up into the water once i've and then just leave them for the day they'll just sit there and they all float and before you put them on the hook give them a little squeeze there you go i don't know if you can see that but they're just twos and four chuck them in there and that's it for the day when i prepare them all i do is chuck them in a bag you know a little one of these little plastic bags like that whack the, the fours and the twos in together fill them up with the level of water there's videos out there on youtube to show you how to do it tie them up chuck them in the fridge and they're ready for the next day to be honest you can even do it in the morning i don't think there's much difference but they can be a bit firm if you do them the night before so that's what i'd recommend you do um in terms of rigs for pellet fishing it's a little bit different to maggots i prefer to use a um a wire stemmed float I just use the little cap, the little um, normal dinks from RW. Back shot for pellet fishing, I put it closer to your float, personally. I think, because you're obviously lifting at lots of little indications, and obviously you don't want to be striking too hard, you want to have your back shot right near your float. So if you sort of imagine it like that, you can sort of just, oh, give it a lift, or oh, it's not on. And then when, so then if you miss bite, you can just drop it straight back in, rather than when you fish maggots, if you have your back shot a bit further away, you can give it the big in because your maggots are going to stay on, so you can just lay your rig back in. But with pellets, you're not even benefiting from laying your rig in, really. You need to just keep your rig stable because you're not, you're not catching fish through the water like you are with maggots. Nice long lash again. I, I think I always do that in winter. Even in summer, to be honest, I'll keep a long lash when I'm fishing shallow water, particularly in the mud line. I don't think you can, you can do it any other way, personally. And then shot and pattern, I use number nine shots. So I use much bigger shots when I'm fishing with pellets, like soft pellets in winter on like snake lake sort of thing. Because I think you're fishing on a, is a positive bait. You're going to get positive bites from it. That's why I love summer and spring because you can fish pellets and you don't get faffy bites. You don't really foul up any. And they're quite easy to catch when they're there. So I just strung them out like sort of an inch apart, like bit, I'll sort of do a strung bull, but start them like an inch apart and just spend them out a bit further. And then same again in winter, I'll fish a six inch hook length. Once it warms up and I'm fishing solely fishing pellets, and I think it's going to be better. I'll fish a four inch hook length or even shorter as it warms up. But six inch is fine for me. I don't faff about too much. It means I don't have to tie up any extra hook lengths. I think that's important just as much. 
but yeah, that's it. That's a, a size 18 hook. I think a size 18's F1 pellet is probably bet, probably best when you're fishing fours and two mil expanders. But if you know you're just fishing twos, like if it's going to be rock hard, I'd fish a 20. I don't think there's a problem with that. I'd still put a four mil on a 20. I, I think I'd probably just, if I was just trying it, I might up it to an 18's if I think I'm solely going to be fishing fours, but that's a little guide there. For winter, when I'm fishing pellets, like I said, I use a little small pot from Guru, them little, you can see that there, the little, with the, with the little sprinkle lid in. I think you'll get three or four feed, you probably get more, you probably get, you could get 10 feeds out, you know, you're only tapping like five to 10 micros out. You just wanna lift your pot nice and high and tap them so you can count them out, you know, so you can see them hitting the water. So then you know how much you're feeding. You might wanna feed like five micros and you don't need to feed a lot of bait because they're quite big. If you think about what's on your hook, like that, that that's a big pellet and you, your micros won't be too different so you don't want to you don't want to be it's not like you don't want to be tapping like 20 micros in to start with anyways and then you can build it up as the day goes on if it's good but fill it up and then you can get plenty of feeds out of it you just want to be feeding every now and again build it build your confidence up as the day goes on you know you'll figure out when's best to feed it's not really any hard hard rules about that but that's it simple really another another method i always keep it set up in my bag when i go fishing like partridge or other venues like that so it's there ready if I draw a peg where I think pellets could work. Like for example, when I was on two spay the other the other week, I kept it set up because I thought, oh, I might need it here because it's going to be a good peg. So I tried it, it was no good, but if, if there's lots of roach feeding, it can be really good pellets just to try it. So it's always having it there. I'd rather have it there than not have it at all. And it just be like niggling in my mind thinking, oh, will it work, will it work? So if it's there, I can try it. Keep it in my X case, all set up, good to go. But that's it, dead simple, thanks for watching. That's winter F1 fishing with pellets. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you can, that'll help me out. Um, I'll love you forever. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Tight lines.